Does the term big data scare or confuse you? Fear not, let us break it down for you. Big data is the act of collecting large data sets from traditional and digital sources to identify trends and patterns. That information is used by companies to improve what they know about customers' wants and needs. The goal should be to make solid decisions based on data and not just hunches. People are increasingly willing to hand over their personal data in return for products and services that make their lives easier. But what does that mean for you, the source of the data? Well, think of it as a trade. Let's say Becky tweets about a store she recently visited. That store could mine data from her tweet and thousands of others to figure out where its customers are and what they're saying about its products. Maybe the store decides to open a new location way across the city because social media shows the demand there is popping. Tweets and Facebook posts are a bit harder to analyze than structured data like store receipts or web traffic. Unstructured text or images require special software to extract their meaning. And since the volume of unstructured data is so large, many businesses need to use special hardware just to organize and understand it. Companies that are on their game use both structured and unstructured data flow to build up their customer insights each step of the way. Pretty crazy, right? Data-driven marketing is what it's all about these days, and every organization should know the three V's of analysis if they want to succeed. Volume, the amount of data, velocity, the speed at which the data is generated, and variety, the kind of data available. The more data a business analyzes, the more it can make the experience better for the customer. For a typical company, just a 10% increase in data accessibility will bring in more than $65 million additional net income. So should Becky worry that her information is being passed around between large corporations? Maybe. It's not exactly a regulated practice, but in this day and age, it's nearly impossible to avoid. And data collection is not going anywhere. By the year 2020, about 1.7 megabytes of new information will be created every second for every human being on the planet. Even the White House has already invested more than $200 million in big data projects. But just because information is collected doesn't mean it will necessarily be used. In fact, only 0.5% of all aggregated data is ever analyzed. But there are steps Becky can take to limit the amount of accessible data. She can read the terms and conditions before installing apps. Some of them ask to access phone contacts, GPS locations, even the mic recorder. Limit geotags on social media and be aware that anything you type into a search engine will be documented, even in private browsing. So there you have it. Big data is the ultimate business tool of the future, and it wouldn't be possible without you, the consumer. Mm.